Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dino and today, uh, like I promised, I want to talk a little bit about music practice. So this is question number one I'm getting for all my students. So today I'm going to share my 10 tips for music practice. Please make sure to share and to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to know more about me and my private life, you're welcome to follow me on my TikTok. All these links are down below. So my tip number one is uh, set goals for your practice time. What it means, <laughs> you decided to practice, you sit down, you need to know what you want to accomplish from that practice. Do you want to work on your fingering? Um, do you want to work on some parts? Um, and stuff like that. So always have a pen or pencil close by and always make sure to write. You need to write fingering. Uh, your teacher should be um, helping you with uh, fingering if it's really like a complicated part or something like that. But if not, then when you sit down to practice, have your uh, pen or pencil. I would suggest you to have pencil, just it's much easier to delete. But um, if you like to do with pen and be messy, then sure, do it. <laughs> and uh, how to figure out your fingering. If you are uh, playing, for example, piano, um, if you start doing this with, with, you know, going up and then, you know, skipping this way, then that's not good. You know, you always need to look natural while you're playing something. I'm always saying that's for piano because that's, you know, what I'm practicing, but um, I believe it's for other instruments as well. So goal number, I mean, tip number one is set goals for your uh, practice time. Second tip is uh, you need to keep your uh, practice log. You need to write down uh, what you have accomplished for that day. The same is for lessons. When you go to your teacher's house or you're having virtually lesson or, you know, your teacher is coming to your house, if uh, your teacher is not writing you what you have uh, done for, um, for that lesson, make sure when, they, when your teacher leaves to sit down and to write what you have been doing today. C scale, C chords, song number one, blah, 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 and stuff like that. So you know when you sit down, oh, I have been practicing this with my teacher. Let me try to do this by myself. You know, so that's why it's very important that you're keeping your practice log. What's very um, good to have, I remember when I was a kid and, you know, I was going to regular school and uh, in my time uh, we were going to music school, which was like second school where you have four or five classes. Uh, and I was always kind of good, it's not that I'm bragging about, but I was always good with managing my time. I would write on the big piece of paper scheduled for the whole week, week in uh, including your weekends. That's very good to, to be on track, to keep yourself on track. Now, tip number three, it's very important one, and I'm t saying this to all my students. You have to break up your practice time into smaller, um, smaller times. So what it means, you sit down and you need to practice three songs, and you're like, oh, I'll practice four hours. Don't do that. Practice one song at a time and sit down and practice for 40 minutes. Get up, go outside or eat or watch TV, do your homework, come back uh, after like one, two hours and practice for 40 more minutes. And at the end, you have almost like hour and a half of practice time. Because when you're sitting for 40 minutes, you are keeping uh, your your focus on 100%. When, when I'm saying about practice time, I would say you have to uh, split your song into more parts. So if song is two, three pages, don't practice the whole three pages. Split it in parts. Your teacher can help you with this if you're more interested. But um, 
kind of lessen your melody. Like when you when you hear that melody is kind of like wrapping up, that's probably the end of one or first part. And do as many parts as you can. If you don't know how to do this, then just split page by page. Do one page at a time and keep playing it multiple times. Um, Tip number four is remember that practicing is not just about playing through your music. I just mentioned that with a splitting into parts. So when you sit down and you play song from the beginning to the end and you're thinking, oh, if I repeat this 20 times, I'll be great. But what happens while you're doing that? You make mistakes. What do you do? You keep playing? No, no, you cannot do that. You need to stop. You make mistake. You keep repeating that place until you just master it. If it's just one measure, you keep repeating just measure before that, measure that you need to fix and measure after that. So that way you can you can keep connecting. So don't don't spend time only practicing one measure. You can in the beginning, but once you start getting better, always make sure to connect that uh, measure that you are practicing with previous measure and measure that's coming after that. So that way you can still work on your flow. If you do something really fast and you keep going, going over your mistakes and you keep repeating it, nothing will happen. You will always have that mistake. But if you stay and you keep doing that part slowly where you're having problem, your brain will just memorize it. Remember that. Tip number five, repetition is key. I already said that. So keep repeating song. When you solve that, um, that measure where you had your problem, keep repeating song from the beginning to the end. Make sure to play slowly because if you're playing fast, you will always get over some things and you will not even hear them. You will, you will have a mistake that you will not even be aware of. Um, you will, if you have 16th notes, you will start getting over those really fast. Then what's the point? Like you don't practice. <laughs> if you are not going to work on these things, but if you play slowly from begin from the beginning to the end, few times, I'm just saying after you fixed everything, then you go from the beginning to the end, slow tempo, and you repeat that multiple times. Tip number six is make sure your practice room is set up for effective practicing. What it means, no phones. That's a big mistake. You're practicing. You need to just turn off your phone, make sure that your TV is off. So make sure no phones, no TV, no looking outside. If you uh, practice smart, uh, then uh, 30 minutes would be just perfect. So that's eff really effective. Keep that in mind. Tip number seven, you need to warm up before you start playing. Always play scales. If you're not playing scales, then play some uh, song that you did before, but make sure to play it slowly because fingers needs to warm up. Eighth that I love is you need to record yourself. If you are not aware that you are making mistakes, record yourself. You don't need to do video like I'm doing, but you can just make audio and then listen that, but make sure to have notes in front of you while you're listening your recording and have, again, your pencil close by so you can circle places where you think that you're not really good. Um, tip number nine is remember that practicing isn't just about playing your instrument. Yep, this is one really important one. Re let me read something. It says, that means that practice also involves listening to great, uh, great artist performance um, and analyzing what makes them so great. So practice is actually going and check YouTube and be like, oh, this is the song that I'm playing. Let me hear what they are doing, how they are, how they are playing this song. So that's practice as well. And always make sure that you are writing down notes. Keep that in mind. And tip number 10 is, Practice something every single day. You don't have to practice always the newest song you did with your teacher. Practicing is just sitting down and play songs from two years ago. Play song 
from all your recitals or, you know, something like that. As long as you are sitting down and playing your instrument every day, that's practice. Be smart. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this was really helpful. These are my 10 tips on practicing. Okay, I will leave you here. Please make sure to like this video, to subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram. I'm, I'm putting their tips every single day and videos as well. Um, follow me on Facebook. And uh, if you want to know more about my private life, well, go follow me on my TikTok. All these links are below. I will see you next time then. Enjoy your practice. Bye.